thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Um, I just wanted to share this very simple, tasty chili with you today. This is a chili that I've been making for close to 30 years now. And I can honestly say, I don't think I have ever tweaked this recipe. Um, I don't even remember where I got it. It's probably something that my mom helped me put together whenever I first got married. Or simple, it's quick, it's easy, there's not a lot of prep. This recipe is just being a family favorite of ours. Um, I hope that you'll try it. So if you make this chili, leave me a comment down below because I'd like to know what you think of it. I, sometimes I think that we've just eaten the same things for so long that we've grown accustomed to them. Maybe they're not as good as we think they are, but so I think it's good. But I want to know what you think. Let me know if you tweak it, what you do different, what you like or don't like about it. The day that I made this chili, <clears throat> it was a lazy weekend afternoon. Not a whole lot else we can do, so why don't I just make us a big pot of chili and we'll just sit around and visit. And that's exactly what we did. We had a great time. It's a one pot meal that was so hearty and we enjoyed each other's company. Didn't spend a lot of time in the kitchen cooking or cleaning up. So I hope you take that away from this video. Just a nice, relaxing, um, slower pace of life. The ingredients are things that you can find anywhere. This is Rotel, which is from Aldi's brand. Tomato sauce, a large can, a large can of pinto beans and chili beans. And I use chopped onions, frozen, and McCormick's chili mix. First, you brown your ground beef up and get that going. You have to drain your grease off and put your onions in there to season that up. Once you've drained all of your grease off, you'll put everything um, back into the pot. Add your rotel or your diced tomatoes. And next, you'll add the, I believe it's 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, the large can. And then you'll fill that can up pretty much all the way, slosh it around with water, and uh, just add that into your chili because I like mine um, a little bit um, thick, so I don't put a whole lot of added water into mine. Um, add in your large can of pinto beans. Sometimes you really gotta work on them, they get thick in those big cans. And then add your chili beans. Then the last thing to add is your chili and spice packet. You can make your own from home, but I just think these little spice packets um, are so convenient that have everything already in them. And the one that I'm using today is McCormick's, and it does have a really good taste. I had to start using this one back um, a while back. Chilio, for some reason, um, was not in stock at any of my grocery stores. And this one is pretty close to the flavor of Chilio. It's spicy, but it's not super hot. And um, this chili pleases everybody in my family. Of course, we're using our regular toppings of sour cream and cheddar cheese. We've got saltine crackers and we had some tostadas left over that we also crunched up and put in for anybody that wanted that. Now I said chili please everyone in my family and that's true but there's always some people who don't want chili and that's okay we don't all like the same things so one of my daughters just wanted a grilled cheese to stay so I'll just show you real quick how I make mine. I have some friends up north and they put their mayonnaise on the outside of their bread and the butter in the middle and I've just always done that opposite so here I've got some butter melting in my skillet and I've mayonnaise the inside of the bread real good and just put a plain old um, processed cheese single in there once you got your skillet good and coated with a little bit of butter you're just gonna take one piece of your bread rub it around in the butter a little bit and get it nice and coated 
then I'll top it on top of my sandwich and then lay the entire sandwich back in the pan to brown up on one side. Let me know in the comments if you make your grilled cheese the way that I do with butter on the outside and then mayonnaise and cheese on the inside or if you do like my friends up north and have your mayonnaise on the outside of the bread. I'm interested to know how many people do it that way because that just blew my mind. I had never heard of that. And I've eaten grilled cheese for almost 50 years and made them most of those years too. I like to, if I can just get my grilled cheese flipped one time, I like them to not be smushed down too flat and uh, not a lot to them. Nothing tastes better than just a simple grilled cheese. You can top them up with lettuce and tomatoes and stuff like that, but to me there's just nothing better than a plain old grilled cheese sometimes. You can see how that just good old Kraft cheese singles, they just melt up so good. And today she just had um, some chips and dip and cut that grilled cheese up and that made her happy. Meals that you make, they don't have to be fancy, they don't have to be time consuming. Um, all that matters is that you enjoy the process, your family's fed, and you enjoy each other's company. So again, thank you for clicking into my video today. Thank you for checking out my new channel. I hope you'll stick around. Um, if you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel.